Good morning, Super Readers! Thank you for joining us in our Valley PBS classroom. I'm Mrs. Nix. I'm Mrs. Hammock. And I'm Mrs. O'Leary. And this is a place for us to learn, practice, and grow our brains to become even stronger readers, writers, and thinkers. Mm -hmm. So let's get started by warming up our brains with some ear training called Daily Phonemic Awareness. Okay, so Daily Phonemic Awareness. We're gonna be practicing our sounds and today what we're gonna do with them is we're going to break apart or segment words. So we're gonna go backwards from blending. Now we're gonna take the word and we're gonna listen for each of the sounds in a word. Okay, okay so to that help us out, good. We've got these little dots, and these dots are going to help us keep track of the sounds. So let's start with the word joy. Joy. Okay. Think about those sounds. Think about like a rubber band, and you're stretching that word out. What do we hear? J. Oi. Joy. 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 How many sounds did we hear? Just two. Just two. Just two. Perfect. Okay. How about join? Oh. Join. Now watch this. J, oi, n. Join has how many sounds? Three. Three sounds. Excellent job. Okay, let's do another one. <clears throat> how about a hard one? Ooh, okay. Broil, broil. Okay. There's a lot of sounds in broil. Mm -hmm. Really stretch it. What do we hear first? B. B. Oi. Oh. Oh. Broil. Mm -hmm. Right? Four, Four sounds. sounds. That's a lot. That and was those great. blends can be tricky. Mm -hmm. Especially that B R. B -er. You got to really think about all those sounds. Okay. Last one. Let me give you a fancy word. Uh oh. How about hoist? Ooh. Mm. Hmm. What mm. sounds do we hear in mm. hoist? Mm -hmm. okay. What do we start with? <sighs> Oi. Hoist. hoist. Four sounds. Wow. Great job. Great job Good today. Job. I love all that segmenting. Mm -hmm. I love yeah, practicing all of fun. our sounds. That was really fun. Yes. And what's our sound that we're working on this week? I bet this is the oi sound. That's right. Oy. Did you hear the oi sound a lot? I did. Mm -hmm. I All right. Did. So let's get our brains moving and grooving. Find yourself a little bit of space. Okay. We're gonna do. Um, can your can camel can. do the can can? <laughs> oh golly, so <laughs> silly, so silly. But I love it. Oh, I've got. I gotta get my legs going here. It's a good thing we're warming up. Yes. Ooh. There we go. <laughs> we're all gonna be a little off today. It's all good. But we're not jumping. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Woo oh, that always it. wakes me up. I know. Yes, <laughs> that's true. Every morning. Yeah, yeah absolutely. That's good. Okay, let's get started with our phonics lesson. Okay. Thank you. We'll see, see you in a little bit. bit. So, as Mrs. Nick said, our focus for this week is oi. And we're using our boy sound spelling card um, to help us remember that. So, we've got boy, oi, and then two different ways that we can spell oi. One is oi, and the other one is oy when it comes at the end of a word or the end of a syllable. So let's get started with some blending activities first. I've got a couple words up here. This is the first one, but I would love it if my friends would come and help join. Oh, hello! Hello! Hi, hello. 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 High five, high five. Oh. I just love when you come. Are you ready to uh, blend some oi? Oh, oh yes. yes. 
with let's, the let's share. Do it. Let's start right here. If you can look over here, um, we'll start at the beginning sound. Okay. And what is that beginning sound? Ja. 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 Oh, what's this special? Oi. Oi. Our focus for this week. And then the final sound is mm. Mm. Let's blend it again. Join. Join. Faster. Join. Join. Thank Join. you for joining us. I hope you joined us at home in, in blending that word. Good job. Yes. Very good job. Yes. All right. Our second word is over here. And as you can see, we're using the second way that we can spell oi. So let's, let's blend it. Oi. Toy. 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 Excellent. Oh, oh, I love to play with toys. Me too. You're getting super, super good at that blending. And how about building? And you do this with us too at home, boys and girls, okay? We're going to build a couple words. So the first word that I want to build, I think I heard it earlier today, it is hoist. Oh, <gasps> Ooh, hoist. hoist. I'm not even sure what that means. Ooh, what, hoist. Oh, what? oh I, I think I know. What does I it mean? I had to hoist my backpack into the back of the car. It's like when you have to carry or haul something really heavy. Oh, I so read it. picking it up. Yeah, I read just... it in a story. Oh, did you oh, really? Oh, that's oh. so fun. Reading helps us all the time with yeah, vocabulary. Yeah, you learn words like that. Yeah, you do. Okay, can you build it, do you think? Okay, well, okay. okay. yeah, we could try. Right, so yeah, I'm gonna let's... say it again. Hoist. Hoist, what am I gonna start with? What's my beginning sound? H. Yep. Oh, you got it. Hoist. Oi. Oi. And that's in the middle. Oh, of yeah, that. that's so O I. Mm -hmm. O I. I think that's o -I the one. next. That's right, because Oi. this is not the end of our word, is it? Hoist. Oh, that's the S. That's Oi. it. You got it. And then uh, my favorite letter oh, is, a, is a T. Okay. That's right. Good job. Mm -hmm. And you that's spelled your letter. that that's right. Let's, let's say it together. Hoist. I wonder if you learned a new word today, boys and girls. I hope you did. I hope you'll use it if you have to hoist anything today. Yeah. All right. You want to build one more? Okay, let's do it. Okay. Yep. How about moist? Moist. Oh, I think Mrs. O'Leary is trying to trick us. Yes, because you know what? So. I, I, think you're right. I don't think we have to do anything. Mm -hmm. I hear all the same you're right. sounds. Mm -hmm. okay. So at the beginning, you can just put an M. Oh, you are so, you mean I don't have to make the whole word? No, I can just go no, like this? Ooh, no, no. Oh, look, 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 look at that. That is so tricky. Oh, I love words. Because those are rhyming words. That's, oh, yeah, let's do it. Moist, 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 moist. they both say oist. Yay, oh, very oh, good. Oh, I love that. You guys are going to be super spellers as well as super mm -hmm. readers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Thank you, friends, for joining us, and okay, we'll see you in a little you. bit. Bye. Bye. And so, boys and girls, let's end our phonics lesson with reading a sentence together. Starting at the beginning here. That toy, there's our sound, makes so much noise. And again, that's our focus, um, spelling, O-I, and sound. So very good reading, excellent super readers. And so to be a super reader, you also need to practice your high frequency words. And Mrs. Hammock is going to help you do that today. There you go. That's right. OK, so remember, we have six words this week. Uh, yesterday, we worked on new, like the past of new. Uh, no, I knew you knew the answer. New and build. We have toward money, fall, and above. Today, we are going to work on toward. It sounds kind of funny when you say it. Right, I see it too. There's the word to in it. Good thinking. T-O-W-A-R-D. Toward. Toward. All right, so let's think about this word. We, this is maybe a word that you don't often use. But you will definitely see it in stories that you write. And as you grow into an author and write more, you will definitely want to remember this word. So let's look at how it would look in a sentence. The dog ran toward the yard. So it's a direction word, right? It's, it means something is coming closer. So the dog ran toward the yard. And that's how you can use that in a sentence. I want you to be on the lookout for that in some of the stories that you're reading. 
But another way that I want you to practice today, we're going to look at the match it up kind of game. I love this one. So here I have toward, and then I have a review word from yesterday, new. Down here, I have some clips with the letters on it, and I'm going to find the letters to spell the word toward so that I can practice. Now remember, the important thing is that you're not only reading it, but that you're saying it so that you can hear it. We want to get all of those senses going, right? Okay, so let's look for the first letter. That's the T, and I found it right here. I'm going to clip it on there. Okay, what comes next? O, yep. Okay, here we go. T-O, then W. What's next? T-O-W-A, good, I hear you. And then R, and then D, very good. Now I'm gonna have to clip that one a little sideways. Now, I only have two words up here, so it's pretty easy for me to find the letters to build my second one, but you could do this with all six of your words, and that would give it an extra challenge. Or maybe you play with a friend and have your friend build the word. Lots of fun ways to practice your high frequency words. This would be a great thing to do if you're watching TV and a commercial comes on. You can practice clipping a word and match it up. All right, today you're going to hear a story called The Joy of a Ship. Wait until you see this ship. It's amazing. All right, I want to know some things about this story when you're done. You're going to talk with our super great Mrs. Nix, who is, helps us do our good thinking about stories. And I bet she has some questions that she has for you. So enjoy this book. The Joy of a Ship. Ships take people and things all over the world. How does a ship get made? Find out here. What is needed to build a ship? Making ships employs many workers. This task uses lots of tools and parts as well. Let's see how a ship is made, step by step. Caption. These people study the plans for the ship. There are many things to do. Frame it. First, workers build a frame. The ship can balance on blocks up above a dock. Huge cranes hoist the big parts in place so they do not fall. Workers must avoid being bumped by these big pieces of steel. Caption. Some huge gantry cranes can lift 1,500 tons as high as 230 feet in the air. Sheets of steel. First, two kinds of metal are melted into steel. It boils. Hot steel flows into flat metal sheets and molds. When steel gets cold, it gets hard. The steel sheets are then ready for making a ship. Caption, stand back. The steel is very hot. A worker joins each steel section by heating the edges, called joints. Most workers put on gloves and a helmet to protect their hands and head. Check it, paint it. Workers check all the joints. Then they point out leaks and fix them. If a joint leaks, the inside of this ship will be moist with water. It might even sink. Then the ship is painted and this job is done. It gleams in the sun. The workers knew it would look nice. People will pay a lot of money to ride on this ship. Out to sea. The people on the dock point with joy as the new ship begins the first trip. Those on the ship wave as it glides toward the open sea. Did you know? There are many kinds of ships on the sea. Captions. Icebreaker ship. Aircraft carrier. Cargo ship. Wasn't that an amazing text about how to build a ship? And you know, 
readers, one of the things that is such a good skill to practice and to really think about is when we think about our cause and effect relationship. And that's really what we're, we're gonna kinda do today. And to help us make sense of cause and effect, I think I'm gonna ask Rita to come and help us out just a little bit. So, hey Rita. Hey, oh. hello Miss oh. Rita. I, I can't find you. Oh, well, you're getting close. There oh. you go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, I, I'm sorry, I was, my brain is tired because, oh. I was running late. You were running late? Yeah. Well, if you were running late, why were you running late? What caused you to be late today? Well, um, I couldn't find my backpack. And and then, um, but, but before that, I, I, I just didn't get up on time. And then I've been running, 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 running all day long. It's terrible. So you did a great job you just introduced what i was talking with our amazing readers about was cause and effect oh and so eh. because rita had a hard time this morning finding all of her things and getting here the effect was she ran a little bit late yep yep so great job thank you for helping us demonstrate what we were talking about You're now welcome. our poster right here has cause and effect and Sometimes I like to add just a little cheater note right here, and I'm going to put the word be oh. in front of it. Now it changed our word to because. Oh, yeah, that helps. And then our effect. So what happened and why? This is, this is the reason that this happened. So do you want to help me read a little bit with um, talking about our text that we just read? Yeah. Um, so... I'm gonna start with what we know, and what we know is that the steel gets hard. Now, what would cause the steel to get hard? Remember when it's melted and it's, it's super hot and it's kind of liquidy. So yeah. what would cause it to get hard? Well, I think I remember that in the story it said it, that when it gets cold, when it cools off, then, then it gets hard again. That's right, so when the steel gets cold, the effect is the steel becomes very hard. Great job. Okay, how about this one? It protects their hands and their head. So the workers had to put something on to protect their hands and head. Yep, yep, my, my Uncle Dell, he was an iron worker and he used to have to put on gloves and a helmet. That's right. So because they're putting on those gloves and helmets, they're able to protect their hands and their head. Yep. So that was great because they were they were doing a lot of work in the in there. Now, let's go the other way. Because joints leak on a ship, what might happen if the joints were leaking? We talked it was in our story. We talked about it a little bit. Do you remember? Well, that you don't want a ship to get to be leaky cuz then it will sink. That's right. That would it, be bad. That would be really bad. It would get moist with water and and ultimately, it could, it could yeah, maybe sink. Yeah, that was a huge ship. Oh, that would be awful. Would, I would not want to go down with that ship. Mm -hmm. Okay, so because the ship was painted, what happens? Well, it was really shiny and it gleams in the sunshine. That's right, that's right. And so that, that paint really makes it shiny look fancy and look fancy yeah, absolutely like wouldn't that be so much fun to go on a cruise oh, ship yeah. miss Dix, have you ever been on a cruise ship i have been on a cruise oh. ship they're ginormous wow. I, I can't even tell you how big they are they're they're bigger than a whole city block that's what i was thinking i thought they look like a floating city it kind of is it's really a an amazing feat that these workers could build something so big. Yeah, that, that's super amazing. And it floats. I know, and it's so heavy, but it floats. I know, so you know what? Speaking of that amazing ship, maybe Rita, you'd like to come over and help me do a little writing about our ship. <laughs> you I'll know see... I would, I like to write. All right, well, I'll see you in just a second. Okay. So we're gonna, I'm gonna get our, our readers ready for that. So readers, today we're gonna do a little bit of writing about some of the steps that it takes for, uh, for us to build a ship. So here's our prompt today. It says, 
what are the steps it takes to build a ship? And I've got an introductory sentence here, and then I think I'm going to ask our friends to come over and help us come up with what our steps even are in our story. So, so there are many steps needed to build a ship, right? Okay, do you remember what some of those steps are? All right, let's invite our friends to come over and help to tell us what those steps are. Now, what kind of words would we want to start with? Do you remember? Probably like first, next, then, like that. All right. So, hey friends, can I have you guys come on over and help me out? What do you What do you we think? Sure. Well, hello, Miss Rhonda. Washer. Hello, Miss Nix. What do you think? What would be our first oh. step? Oh, uh, oh, Rita, you just, you are just running late today. Yeah, it's I'm all a late good. Day. <laughs> we love it. But Miss Rhonda, yeah. do you know what yes, our first step is? Well, first, the workers build a frame, I believe. That's right. They did. They had to go through and they had to build a big giant frame in it. It was a big frame. So it sure was. First, workers build the frame. Okay. So when we're building our ship, what was the second or what was the next step that was talked about in the text? Oh, I know. Do I you know. Because I, I was listening to that word hoist. Oh, that was our Because it said next, a crane hoists the big parts of the ship into place. That's right. I love that you are using some of our words we've been practicing today with our sounds. Ooh, yep. let's look. I like Next, to learn new words. A crane hoists the big parts of the ship into place. Great job. Nice. So we have first, next. Well, then may I add a little bit more to Absolutely. the story? Absolutely. What comes next? Okay, then steel sections are joined together by heating the joints. Oh, that's right. Remember, they had to get the steel really hot. Yes. So let's have that one. Great. So then steel sections are joined together by heating the joints. Absolutely, right there. Mm. Great. Yeah. Okay. Are we all done? Were all those were all of those the steps? No, no. I think they have to. After they did that, they had to check and make sure there was no leaks. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's a, probably one of the most important pieces, right? Yep. All right. Show sure is the joints. Here we go. Are checked for leaks before the final. Step. Uh, oh, and oh. then the, one more then thing. The, yeah, then the fun part. Oh, what's that? Then they finally the ship is painted. Perfect. And it's shiny and beautiful. That's right. <laughs> and they make sure that it is ready to go. <laughs> great job. So speaking of that, I know we've got a great story coming for you. We'll see you in a second. Bye. share with you today. This is a book called Lions, because I'm a lion. This is a nonfiction book that will give you a lot of facts about lions. Like, did you know that the male lions are the only cats that have manes? Yep, that's what I have around my Neck, this is a mane. Now, did you also know that a lion is built to hunt? Every part of its body work together to capture prey. A lion's tan coat is the same color as the grass around it. It blends into its surrounding. Now, if you want to read more about the lion and lots of facts, Make sure you are checking out these books at your library. Thanks for watching, PBS. 
Okay, that was great. I know. I, it made me think, though. Well, do you know how to brush a lion's teeth? <laughs> no. um, I don't think I want to brush I'm a lion's teeth. Very carefully. <laughs> Oh, well, well that's, that's for sure. Absolutely. You would have to do that. Oh, yes. I can't imagine being in there. I still don't want to do it. No. Exactly, exactly. Hey, but you know what? Thanks for hanging out with us this morning on Valley PBS, and we look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. Take care. Bye. Bye. -bye.